What's going on everyone? Welcome to Robinson Motorsports. Tonight I will be assembling the bottom end of my 2007 YZ250 motor that's going to be going in Project Frankenrip. I sent these cases to my buddy at Upstate Motos to get vapor blasted. They came back freaking mint. Enough that I was able to find a crack right here and not a good spot. What I did was I basically packed that hole with a JB Weld, screwed a bolt into it until I saw it coming out of that crack, backed the bolt out, let it dry, drilled it when it was dry, re-tapped it, and then I just filed it smooth so hopefully that'll hold I already put the case has back together and torqued that down so I know that it's actually gonna hold the torque so hopefully it doesn't get any worse it is on the inside and there's not much leading to the outside of the engine so I'm not too worried about it sucking in air I'm just worried about that bolt not doing its job and holding that torque first thing I gotta do after I basically wiped them all down, cleaned them off, is I'm going to be installing new crank bearings and new transmission bearings. Every bearing on this engine is going to be replaced with, I think I got all OEM, oh I got Pro-X crank bearings, but everything else is OEM. They're sitting in the freezer now, so I'm going to go ahead and grab a crank bearing and show you basically one of the easiest ways to put bearings, crank bearings in transmission bearings. I'm not going to film the entire thing. I'm just going to do one or two bearings and then you'll see. Alright, I apologize. I definitely wasn't recording when I was installing these bearings. My bad. So basically all that you're going to do is you freeze the bearings. Overnight, mine were in there for about a week and a half, two weeks waiting on parts. Um, you freeze those, then you take and you heat up the cases with a map gas or a little propane torch. You can bake them too. I heard people bake them at 350 for an hour or two, but hit them with that torch, heat them up so that aluminum expands, the steel of the bearings contracted, so then you can just basically just drop them in with your finger. You might have to tap them here and there, but it's really not that hard. You don't have to force them in, you don't have to worry about cracking the cases or anything. Just remember to heat up the case and cool down the bearing and they slide right in. The other thing I do is I definitely red Loctite all of the keepers and torque them to spec. Red Loctite because it's internal, you really don't want those things coming apart on you and bouncing around inside the transmission and whatnot. Uh, the second thing is, is I spray all the bearings down with like a spray grease, basically just an ultra heavy duty penetrating grease. It sprays out thin, then as soon as you kind of work it in, it turns into a grease. And this stuff is amazing for a lot of applications. It's one of my like go-to greases, other than the tub of waterproof uh, Bellray grease. So I spray my bearings down with that, just to kind of seal them in to get some type of lubrication in there until the oil can take over. Uh, it's kind of like an assembly lube at that point. But it's just for the bearings. I don't spray it on any of my seals or anything else like that. I either use oil or grease on my seals. So moving along, we're going to go ahead and install this transmission and see if it operates alright. And then we can um, glue the case halves together. Transmission is in. It's actually in neutral right now. I can hold the counter shaft and spin it. Now what we're going to do is we're going to clean this entire surface where the 
um, gasket, gasket material is going to go on both sides and then we're going to seal in we're going to seal in this o-ring with gasket material and we're going to join the two case halves together i almost forgot to put the crank in so i'll be using this tusk crank puller tool basically it is this threaded rod right here with threads on the end of it this is the nut that goes in there this is the nut that goes on the uh, flywheel so what we're going to do is we're going to put this nut that passes through here where the flywheel goes take the flywheel nut thread that on doesn't need to be tight just needs to be on there enough then the threads on the inside of here are the same as the threads on that silver nut that threads in here then this is the puller part basically that whole assembly is going to go into this hole pulling it through with this nut the face of this goes where the um, oil seal is on your state or on your flywheel side slide this in come on there we go up against there that up make sure you hold the connecting rod when you do this you don't want to smash that into the side of the case or anything like that just take a crescent wrench or I don't even know what size it is but slowly turn it and it pulls the crank into that barrel this case half is ready for the joining of this case half dowel pins are in I already know that they're going to fit because I test fit everything real quick before I started all of this because I wanted to see what areas I needed to pay attention to with the gaps and whatnot. So now I am going to put a bunch of gasket sealer, which is actually Yama Bond 4. So I'm going to smooth this on and then we will join these case halves. So in the midst of all my transmission swaps, or transmission swapping idea, I put the wrong, um, this gear on, and that should fit a little bit better. Now the placement of all these bolts here really depend. I mean you can take them off and put them in a piece of cardboard, yeah, 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 whatever. But if you think about it, they all have the same, a certain length and they have a certain hole for them. It is in the manual, you can go through and measure them, but like I've said before in a couple of my other episodes, just drop them in the hole and you'll see that they're all the same height. You can see that this one's the same height as this one and they're all well those aren't part of it but they're all basically the same the same height all the way around here so all you really have to do is just pretty much figure out which hole they go in it's it's not that hard 
then torque them to spec in a star pattern, kind of alternating around the best that you can. All right, so it's pretty much case halves together. Crank still moves. Tranny's still in neutral and moves freely. So at this point, I just go around and I clean up all the gasket material, all that um, Yamabon 4 that came out of it and uh, clean up the connecting rod and then um, go ahead and put all the seals in. Bottom ends all together. Sorry, I kind of checked out there. Hope you enjoyed the little montage. Um, the stator's not tight because I still need to set the timing. The jug is still at power seal. I should be hearing from them this week. I bought a set of wheels for this. Right here. Bought a set of wheels. KKE is what I ended up going with. The wheels that I wanted from Rocky Mountain, the Tusk. Uh, impact rims hubs combo there they seem to just keep going on back order further and further and further KKE actually had theirs um, readily available they actually shipped the same day that I ordered them and they're roughly the same price so hopefully they're good I haven't seen many reviews on them I've talked to a couple people and they said that they've um, had them come through their shop and they really haven't heard any complaints so I think this set was 440 with um, the axle block spacers down here. So I got those coming. I just bought a set of radiators I got to put on here yet. The engine is not going to be mounted at this point. Like I was planning on putting the bottom end in it, but I want to get the uh, rear suspension and the linkage and the swing arm bearings all greased and cleaned up and knowing that those are good so then once this engine goes in here it stays in uh, I have to revalve the rear shock so basically the next episode is going to either be the top end on the motor or the revalve on the rear shock and the swing arm linkage bearings so subscribe and I will see you on the next one